In this video, I'm going to model the production of acid rain. In this beaker here, I have some water, which represents a lake, a body of water that doesn't replenish very often. It's just sitting there um, holding water, so therefore the more rain that goes into it, um, the bigger impact it has if that rain is acid rain. And I've put into there some universal indicator, which at the moment is green, which shows us it's a nice neutral pH 7. In this gas jar, I have some cotton wool representing our rain cloud, and I've got some matches here representing the burning of fossil fuels. So I'm going to light a match and use that to light a splint, so I'm at a slightly safer distance from all those matches. And then I'm gonna light these matches Pop them into the uh, gas jar there and see what happens. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of smoke being produced. There's also carbon dioxide um, and sulfur dioxide. And as they um, are in the air, they mix with the water in the rain clouds. Okay, so let's increase the amount of water in those rain clouds. And those gases, that sulfur dioxide, that carbon dioxide, mix with that rainwater and they form acid rain. And what we're gonna do now is take out our rain cloud and let it rain over the lake, see how acidic that rain has become. Okay, so I've got a glass rod here. Take that rain cloud out and let's make it rain over our lake. And as you can see there, the universal indicator has gone really quite red and that represents that that water has become more acidic. Okay, so the acid rain was produced in the cloud and it's now rained over the lake, um, the acid rain creating a more acidic lake, which is obviously going to have an impact on everything that's living in that lake. Also impacts on um, trees and plants that are living in the area as well. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.